the plastic surgery thing like here? Is it as prevalent as it is in the United States? Well, or? I don't know. How many people in the audience tonight now would consider doing it or have done it? Consider. Consider. Oh, actually, quite a few. There's a man there who's going, yes, I'm thinking about it. Yes, my penis is tiny. Uh, <laughs> I just have a really big dick. Yeah, it's, uh, really, I, I look like I was in an and industrial accident. And we can accident. fix that for you. <laughs> you can drop in a vagina at the same time. <laughs> so who is it? Who is it? Who won't ever leave the house, trust me. Oh, okay. La now, lady here, lady here, uh, what's your name? Terry. Terry. Uh, so, so... Thinking of having it done or had it done. Don't say anything. What do you think, guys? <laughs> <laughs> thinking of having it done or had it done. I can't think. I can't take miles off a tits. <laughs> <laughs> so you think, are they new friends or old friends? I'd have to cup a feel before I gave them. <laughs> feel free. Have a poke. Feel free. <laughs> They're, they're very good. Very good. I'd in say a... they're reasonably new. Are they real? Naturally, I was a double G, then had them reduced, then had them filled back up, and now I'm having them reduced again in about. Oh, a see, I knew I felt something funky. Uh... All right. <laughs> and, you, and you gave me that look like. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh... Let's go over this again. So what? So you had big tits. Massive. You didn't uh... like them. No. You got rid of them. Yeah. Then you missed them. Yeah. You got them back in. Yeah. And now you're getting them taken out again. Yeah. Okay, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, right, they're perfect for you now. They fit your body yeah, they now. Look very yeah, good. Let's, let's stand up. Let's see, are they in Are they in proportion? <laughs> yeah, but you're not falling over, so. <laughs> I've got big feet. And you've got big feet. <laughs> so don't fall over. Yeah. No, that, they, they look in proportion, don't they? Yeah, she looks very good. You look very good. good. The so next time you're in, uh, under the knife, what else might you have done, Terry? <laughs> um, I'd like. I've got a list. Okay, let's okay. go. Face. Face. What bit? Here. I want that pulling tight. Okay, now I've got one of those plastic surgery things. Let's just do. It. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What else? Obviously the boobs. Boobs. So they're smaller. Oh, don't touch those titties. <laughs> so they're smaller. That's exactly like that. where they are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably you want your nose done as well, no? Yeah, okay. Hang on, hang on. Maybe here. Yeah. I would as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. And I think uh, we need. You, you need. You lips. Need cher no, you need Cherokee cheek implants. Okay. There you go, like that. And then we'll do your lips as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, so, no. So what should I be, Terry? Terry, Terry <laughs> honestly, don't. <laughs> no, don't, no, honestly. Don't worry, everyone. <laughs> it will come off. I bought a special indelible pen. <laughs> and that comes off quickly. Actually, what we've done is... Um, uh, can, have we done it? Yes? Apparently, the picture, the picture, the, the camera has captured your face now, and we put you through a computer. And uh, if a, a highly trained doctor did all the procedures, uh, this is what you'd look like. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good Looking good. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, that doctor's good. Oh. <laughs> but are women stupid to get all the work done? No, it's a society that they like women to be beautiful. You know that. No man ever put his hand up your dress looking for a library card. Intelligence <laughs> doesn't matter. <happen. laughs> it's all about looks. Yes, of course. You want to feel better about yourself. Because you were talking about Anna Nicole Smith earlier. Oh. Well, now, look how smart she now, was. Is she the smartest woman you ever know? Oh, the smartest <laughs> Kevin McCartney. Oh, to get oh to get him not to sign a prenup, she must have a trick pelvis like we don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> how, and everyone is so mad at her now. She's going on Dancing with the Stars with one leg. Oh, this is like Strictly Come Dancing in the States. Is Dancing with the Stars, and she's going Come on. It's dancing. true. Dancing. They better not ask her to do the hokey pokey. I mean, that's. Gonna be <laughs> Put in. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be very tough because I lived with a man with one leg for nine years. So is this true? Yes. Really? You you went out with a guy with one leg? Live with him for nine years. Great in bed, more room. It is <laughs> great in bed. Great in bed. But she, uh, and that's why I look at her now and I think that's great that she's going to do it. But she's doing it to make everyone like her now. 
Well, and also, did you see the thing in the paper where apparently she's going to she's going to play Mary Poppins on Broadway? <laughs> no, I'm not. This was seriously. This was in the paper. Uh, she was going to play Mary Poppins on Broadway. Yeah, and uh, not only will she play Mary Poppins, uh, but with the correct attachment, uh, she can use her right leg to clean the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> In one famous scene, Mary Poppins takes uh, item after item from a seemingly bottomless bag and then fills it up with Paul's money. <laughs> uh, now, according to an official press release, an official press release, uh, Heather will perform special versions of the songs, including the show-stopping Super Hag Makes Paul Ballistic, Isn't She Atrocious? Uh, <laughs> and, and everyone... Wait, there's a better one. <laughs> Everyone's favourite, a spoonful of sugar helps the old man semen go down. <laughs> Either that or pineapple juice. Now, <laughs> do you know how many calories there are in, sp in semen? No. There are 450 calories per swallow. <laughs> Every woman, remember that if you're counting calories. Well, don't tell them that. Well... <laughs> Nobody's gonna Sweet swallow. Heart. You've ruined my life. In Weight Watchers, how many points? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, Billy Joan, you, uh, you yes. work all the time, all Joan the time. Rivers. Uh, now, oh, you've been over for QVC, I'll talk about that in a second, but you're also, you're doing some live shows in Ireland. I'm going to Ireland, Dublin, and, um... Vic I have a, Vicar Street Theatre in Dublin. In Dublin, two is, nights. Is that Friday? This is Friday, Saturday. Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday... You're in Belfast. Belfast, one night, and then... Ulster Hall. Yes, Ulster Hall, and then <laughs> Monday I go off to Scotland. Don't know where Bastard. you are there. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help you. You'll have to find your own way. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, at QVC, QVC, you've been selling your jewellery. All the last two days, yes. <laughs> but now, what we thought was, you're so good. Because you've been doing... How long have you been doing QVC now? 17 years. Wow. Yeah. And you have sold, like, tons, tons of the stuff. To America, Canada, all over, yeah. We thought, is there anything you can't sell? So let's see <laughs> as we play The Price is Shite. Come over here with me. Okay. We've got some celebrity items, yes. some beautiful celebrity items, and I've got Joan Rivers and Julian Ma to help me. So yes. basically, uh, we're going to give you a minute to sell as many of these as you can. Just pitch them. Okay. Just pitch them and move on. So uh, let me start first with the first one. one. Yes. Okay. This is a Britney Spears shaving kit. <laughs> For anybody out there that has two children that you want to have taken away from you, this is the easiest way to do it. The easiest way to do it. They don't so. so Okay, next item. Okay. Oh, oh! This That's is uh, Heather Mills' divorce plate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... Ah! <laughs> and okay, okay, this oh. is VIP tickets to see Daniel Radcliffe on stage in Equus. Oh, I saw this. So don't bother. I'll throw them away as well. <laughs> <laughs> the ticket is the biggest thing you're going to see there. <laughs> Oh. George W. Bush limited edition. <laughs> this is not serious. You can't be selling this no, kind of stuff. Oh, they're uh, George W. Bush cowboy boots. And look how clean they are. Because look how small they are. Yeah, Tony. <laughs> they're yours. Well, you're a seller. Tony Blair has been licking these. So they are very. <laughs> well, okay, next item. Uh, what's the next? David. Uh, oh, you think. David what? Beckham framed photograph. That's what that is. Yes. And it's obviously not signed because there's no X anywhere on it. So <laughs> it's just. Fun. Oh, yeah? <laughs> L. Ron Hubbard's Book of Scientology. Now, this is terrific for those of you out there because you put the book on the floor, just like Tom did, and you can kiss Katie. Perfect. <laughs> 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 All right, that's it. It's official. Don't ever send out anything. Please have my guest tonight. Don't ever send Julian McMahon. podcast down on the website or watch the repeat this Sunday night. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.
cleared it all up. You live very, you've, your tits are still a bit funny, but never mind. <laughs> now, uh, so this is the, the cool down. Now, we were talking about, um, you know, people trying to reverse the aging process, yes. right? Now, there's an interesting woman in the audience called Beverly. Now, where is Beverly? Oh, there's Beverly. Hello. Now, Beverly's been in the newspapers this week. <laughs> yes, actual newsmaker, Beverly. Uh, so, stand up, Beverly, do. Now, so you were refused admission somewhere. Okay. Yes. Where were you refused admission? Chicago Rock and Berry. Chicago Rock and Berry. What is that? <laughs> it's a bar. It's a bar. Now, it's how old do you have to be to get in there? 18. You have to be 18? <laughs> yeah. And they didn't think you were 18? No. Okay. So, uh, Beverly. Uh, they didn't think she was 18. Now, quickly, how old... Can, can you see, Oh, there's Beverly on the screens. How old, Joan, Julie, do you think Beverly actually is? Well, first of all, Beverly should get on her knees and thank God that she looks <laughs> young. I don't want to hear, oh, they didn't accept me. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm very lucky. Beverly should be about... Put your... Move your fringe. <laughs> yes, sorry, hair, it doesn't. Hair made of wood. <laughs> Thirty-two. Whoa! <laughs> you know, did you look mad? Oh, I don't go there with that kind of stuff. Okay. <laughs> Anybody in the audience want to guess? Twenty-two. How old are you? Thirty-nine. She's thirty-nine, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You, you look fantastic wow. for 39. No, you look fantastic for any age, but particularly for 39. <laughs> uh, all right, so now listen, I, I like this idea. You can sit down now. Well done, Beverly. Let's find some other people and try and guess their ages. Uh, let's... Uh, it's a good lovely. game. <laughs> <laughs> no one will end up in tears. I'm going to defy uh, Oh, my God, I just noticed your hair. Oh, wow. Well, how long have you had that done? A year. A year? Wow, that is incredible. That is... Forest fire material right there. You know, because I touched it because I thought it might be quite kind of, you know, it might look as dry as it, it looks, uh, feel as dry as it looks, but it, it really does. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, it, are, you, are you attached to. Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just look like a group, that's all I'm saying. Uh, okay, uh, let's find someone who looks very young. Oh, no, you look very young. This woman looks freakishly young. Stand up. Now, What's your name? Liana. Liana. Now, you could be anything from an 11 to 60. <laughs> <laughs> you are a puzzle, Liana. <laughs> now, who are you here with? Uh, <laughs> and is that your father? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, what, what's his name? Chris. Chris, and he's, he, he's, your, he's your... Friend. Friend. <laughs> 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 who are you a friend of? Uh, we're all friends. Yeah. All friends. Yeah. All friends. <laughs> so modern. So, Joan, what do you... That's hard, isn't it? She looks What's your name? Liana? Yeah, Liana. Liana. You know, very 22? Young. 22. Any, uh, higher or lower than 22? Uh, uh, higher. Uh, uh, how old? 21. 21! Oh, you were so close! So good. I can't just stick to it. Now, I know there's something special here. Um, oh, and I'm, I'm guessing, is it... Are you Buster? Yeah. This is Buster. Okay. Now, Buster, uh, how old... This will be quick. How old <laughs> do we think Buster is? If it's, if it's 35, uh, you've had quite a life. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, how old do we think Buster is? 22! 75. We've got 75. Higher or lower than 75? <laughs> higher? Higher? Okay, let's get... Buster, sir, how old are you? I was born the 1st of the night, 1986. That makes me 100. Oh. He's 100 years old, ladies and gentlemen. Now... Now... If that wasn't impressive enough, there's two other things you need to know about Buster. Now, so, Buster, tell us about because you... People tried to mug you uh, quite recently. You were in the paper. Yeah, but they wasn't so lucky, was they? No, because you, <laughs> you fought them off. Yeah, and I still had me money and everything and go. Well, I mean, that... I mean... <laughs> I've, only just, I've only just collected me pension. Did you hear that bit? He'd only just collected his pension. <laughs> <laughs> there was no way known you were losing sight of that. Now, uh, how many children do you have, Buster? Uh, only 17, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it was over time. Wow. Um, oh, yeah, but I mean, say, in our day, we were very zero. <laughs> <laughs> we get different food. 
You don't give them food. Yeah, well, we say not half of the what they sell now. Yes, I, I follow. Now, um, <laughs> how old is your is your eldest child? Uh, he was born five days before my fifteenth birthday. That I make him eighty-six. So you're all of a sudden 86. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the really cool thing about Buster. Buster, you still work. You still have a job. Yeah, well, I mean, so, uh, I won't be like one of them sitting in a wheelchair. I mean, so, like <laughs> that, a miserable old stud. I know, that's a wheelchair. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> and then the people turn around and take pity on them and make them more miserable. So, uh, what, what do you do for a living, Buster? Uh, well, I'm uh, uh, what they call uh, the letting of motors and uh, doing. You're a vet? No, no, the let. Oh, a vet. I mean, say, I can <laughs> cut people up any time. No, no. I mean, say the letting. Uh, you know, uh, another. Valleying. Uh, yeah, valleying. Uh, yeah. Letting, uh, what? Not, not a. Uh, <laughs> one of them. You know. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and who, who do you do it for, uh, Buster? Uh, uh, Pimlico. Pimlico plumbers. Oh, and by the way, yes. while I'm at it... Yes, sir? Remember when you presented him with something? They I've did. Got you got a present for me? you're going to put, the, put it on? I will, sir. What have you got me? <gasps> it's a beautiful tie. Thank you very yeah. much, Buster. And listen, uh, seriously, thank you very much. And congratulations to you. You are an inspiration to us all. Ladies and gentlemen, Buster! <laughs> very nice to meet you, sir. Oh, very nice to meet you. Oh, apparently, I don't know if we want to see this, but apparently, if we go back to Watford, <laughs> they have finished his back. Oh. Should we have a quick yes. look? Can we have a quick look at his back? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is it all done? Is it all nice and clean? Let's see Elliot's back. Oh, it's beautiful! <laughs> Elliot, Still you got look a bit gorgeous. To go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and has she finished the sack and the crack? She's. She's not got to that yet. <laughs> OK, well, we'll let her work on. But seriously, Elliot, um, Buster was an inspiration and so were you. Uh, <laughs> all right, good night. Thank you, Pauline. Thanks. You'll get bye. overtime for that back. All right. <laughs> <laughs>